Welcome to another exciting episode of our YouTube channel, where we explore innovative and sustainable farming practices that can change the way we think about agriculture. Today, we're delving into the fascinating world of Integrated Farming Systems IFS. If you're a farmer looking to boost productivity, income, and sustainability, or someone interested in the future of farming, this video is for you. Integrated farming system is not just a farming practice, it's a philosophy that transforms the way we approach agriculture. It's all about integrating different components of farming to create a harmonious, self-sustaining ecosystem. Imagine a farm where every element works together, where waste becomes a resource, and where nature's processes are harnessed to benefit each other. The goals of integrated farming systems are truly remarkable. We're talking about enhancing productivity per unit area, proper waste management, generating continuous income throughout the year, reducing the use of harmful chemicals, maximizing yields from different enterprises, and ensuring the health of the soil. Now, let's dive into the components of integrated farming systems. It's like putting together a puzzle of life and agriculture. Livestock. Piggery, poultry, duckery, these are essential elements that provide us with meat and eggs, while their waste is cleverly used as fertilizers for other parts of the system. It's a perfect example of waste being a misplaced resource. Fishery. Not only does it provide us with a source of protein, but fish ponds can be interconnected with other components. Pond water can be used to clean pigsties and bathe pigs, and some fish even feed on pig excreta. Plantation crops. They offer shade for fishery ponds and can be interplanted between orchard trees, preventing soil erosion. Apiary. The bees play a dual role here. They produce honey and also aid in pollination, which is essential for many other crops. Mushroom cultivation. Straw residues are used for manuring and composting, creating a cycle of waste becoming a resource. Vermicomposting. This process transforms waste into valuable compost that enriches the soil, helping to maintain soil health. Now, let's take a look at a few exciting models of integrated farming systems. Model 1. In this model, we combine horticulture with piggery, fisheries, and plantation crops. It's like a symphony of farming where pig dung fertilizes ponds and plantation trees provide shade for the fishery pond. Everything has a purpose, and nothing goes to waste. Model 2. This one is a bit more complex, incorporating horticulture, duckery, fishery, plantation crops, vermicomposting, and apiary. The duck excreta becomes pond fertilizer, and they feed on aquatic weeds, saving additional land space. Vermicompost can be used commercially or as crop manure. Model 3. For those who prefer traditional agriculture, this model combines field crops, poultry, fishery, horticulture, and more. It's a beautiful blend of different farming practices that complement each other. Model 4. This model takes it up a notch with mushroom cultivation, poultry, and azala. Mushroom cultivation uses straw residues for composting, while azala acts as a biofertilizer and balanced feed for livestock. It's all about resource maximization. Integrated farming systems offer numerous benefits. They increase productivity, generate year-round employment, protect the environment, and provide economic and nutritional security. Plus, they create a thriving ecosystem where every element plays a crucial role. To wrap things up, integrated farming systems are not just about farming, they're about reimagining how we interact with the land, the animals, and the environment. It's a promise of a better, more sustainable future for agriculture, and it's something every farmer should consider. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more innovative farming practices.